Breaking news, two people are dead and a firefighter hospitalized after a fire started in an apartment in Brown's Edition. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Tim Pham. Let's get right to this overnight breaking news. Investigators working to figure out what caused this fire where you can see flames shooting through the roof. Channing Curtis is there now and she's speaking with people who escaped this fire. Channing, gosh, so glad they are OK this morning. Well, good morning, Tim. I am joined now by Fire Chief Schaefer. Now, can you tell us a little bit about what happened here this morning? Sure, we were dispatched a little bit after two o'clock in the morning to a report of an apartment building on fire. When we arrived, the whole area, the whole block was blanketed with really dense smoke. It's a large glow coming from the building you see behind us. They had fire reported on floors one all the way to floor three. The fire was being wind driven by a southwest wind over to another apartment building. So at this point, we have uh, two people that were identified by our folks when they were doing searches that had passed away in this building. And then the seven in the other building have been accounted for. A total right now of 18 people have been accounted for. So we feel good about that, but it was certainly a scary incident this morning for the residents and occupants of both apartment buildings. And I understand that uh, one firefighter was injured. Right, so one firefighter was injured, transported, and is expected to be released from the hospital very soon, minor injuries, and um, the total apparatus, I think we have about 18 fire apparatus here, and we're at a third alarm level. We're starting to open it up, but the fire department will have a presence here throughout the afternoon. Okay, now I know one of the scary things um, that I, well, that we talked about earlier or that with, this heat, with these historic homes, fires can often spread a little bit quicker, burn a little bit, um, burn a little bit more. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Because this is a historical district. It is. This is where Spokane was founded. So you can see behind us not a lot of room. And look at our outriggers and the close proximity to the apparatus and the parked cars. It's hard to work in a situation where everything's so confined. But when Spokane was settled, you know, street cars and horses were the primary method of transportation. So we had to make it work, and that's one of the reasons why we have tillered ladders and, and we train in this type of a situation. The, the confined and the density is one of the things that makes this area just absolutely wonderful. It's great culture, great feel, but at the same time, it represents some tactical challenges for us. And now is it safe to say that the fire is completely contained right now? It is. The fire's out and now major crimes are assisting us with the investigation because obviously with it being a fatality, it's, it doesn't get much more serious. I think a lot of us are, are pretty upset at the outcome and we're going to do our best to help the community recover. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Well, now I also have a resident here speaking of the community recovering. Now, this is Brandy. Now, I know, Brandy, this has been an incredibly trying morning for you. Tell me about how you were woken up this morning. Um, so I am on the bottom floor of the Tiffany and I was actually woken up by a homeless person that was pounding on our window. Um, there's like 13 units, I believe, in this building and the building was fully engulfed in flames and there was not a single fire alarm going off in the entire building. And I'm not the only one that noticed that. The neighbors said the same thing in the building next to us and I've heard it from multiple people as we go around that, yeah. How were you able to get out? Um, so basically, after the person woke me up, um, we tried to go out the front door. It was fully engulfed in flames. And then luckily, just neighbors helping had um, pulled all of the stuff off the patio so that we could escape through the patio. Yeah. And I know it was you and your daughter, correct? Yes, and my fiance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know you mentioned some of your other neighbors. Have you gotten to speak with them at all this morning? Um, there's been a few here and there. The woman on the third floor above us, uh, she had to throw her German shepherds off the balcony, and I have been told that they ended up finding them. Some people, some neighbors found her dogs. Um, the people right above us, I saw jumping down as I was getting out, but I haven't seen them again. Um, it's just been chaos, really. So do you have any idea? Have you gotten a chance to speak with the Red Cross? I know I saw them here speaking with several people. Uh, yeah, so the Red Cross is here. Um, we had a chance to talk to them. They have a bus set up for people, but I guess there was two wildfires that exploded. So there's just fires everywhere. And they're trying to set up a shelter is what they told me last. And now one thing that you mentioned to me that we definitely want to get out to our viewers is that your dog is missing, correct? Yeah, so uh, the homeless person that alerted me also helped get my daughter out. And I have a uh, chihuahua, he's half chihuahua, half Italian greyhound. His name is Sean Onions. And I set him down and he just got scared and took off. And it's like 
all the material stuff I can replace, but I can't replace my dog. So if you could help me find him, I would be so grateful. Absolutely, we will do everything that we can. We'll make sure that our viewers are notified. And in the meantime, I am just so sorry for everything that happened this Thank morning. You. Of course, I know how trying this could be. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank All right. You. So in the meantime, I'll send things back to you in the studio, Tim from Brown's edition. I'm Channing Curtis for Up With Krim. Oh, Channing, thanks so much. And yeah, thank her for sharing her story with us. Absolutely devastating. And yeah, let's step up and help our neighbors in Brown's edition this morning as they deal with this devastating situation.